Okay, real talk guys. Life can be super tough sometimes and I'd be lying to you if I told you that I've never gotten stuck in this trap of feeling self-pity. But what you need to realize is that there is a powerful tool that we have within ourselves called our mind that can take us from this mode of feeling sorry for ourselves to an empowering mindset where you get out of situations freaking thriving not feeling sorry for yourself feeling empowered and strong enough to conquer whatever comes next hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel by the intro you probably already know what we're going to discuss i am going to give you my personal tips and tricks in order to stop feeling sorry for yourself and thrive to achieve better with a stronger mindset so Let's get started. The most important step and also the first step to stop feeling self-pity is acknowledging your feelings. Like I said earlier, life does get tough sometimes and it's okay to feel down in the dumps about it for a little bit, but you need to learn to recognize when you're getting into the cycle of self-pity and when you're dwelling on things for a longer period of time than you actually healthily should be. You need to sit down, take a moment and reflect on how you're feeling in a particular situation and then allow yourself to feel those emotions. Remember, it's completely human. You are allowed to do that. What you need to allow yourself to also do is let those emotions out. Suppressing helps nobody and is especially harmful to yourself. So let it out in whatever way you feel right, either by talking to a friend or a family member, journaling or even crying. It is completely okay, but make sure you let it all out. The second step is practicing self-compassion. You need to give yourself unlimited amount of love and I know this is a hard thing to do so treat yourself like how you treat a friend you wouldn't pull them down you wouldn't ask them to suppress their emotions or belittle them for whatever they're going through so try and do the same with yourself we need to do this we need to be kinder to our minds and our hearts a way you can practice this is by doing little things that you like to do which can be going for a walk going and working out going for a long shower doing your makeup doing your hair up listening to your favorite music or even just taking a complete bed day it is fine this is a simple tool but it is one of the most powerful ones to help you heal and grow now that we're done with the first two steps we can go on to step three which is changing your perspective now this is hard to do when you are completely heart-wrenchingly broken from inside but it gets better with practice you need to learn to think from a place of gratitude remember the universe always does things and puts you into situations for reasons situations that are unfavorable to you are usually bridge of incidents getting you to your final manifestation it is hard to keep a mindset like this at first but the more you practice it the easier it gets I am speaking from my own experience. So, after you calm yourself down, sit down and ask yourself, what is it that I have learned through this whole process? How can it help me grow? How can it help me become a better human being? And how can it teach me what to do differently or what not to do at all? One of the most crucial things at this moment is to surround yourself with people having a positive mindset. If you surround yourself with somebody having a negative perspective towards life, they may compare your situation with theirs or even enable you to constantly talk about your situation without coming up with a viable solution, which is completely counterproductive. You also need to be aware of the kind of content you're consuming, making sure it's not creating some sort of negative vibration within you, whether it's the music you're listening to, yes, the music you're listening to, or the movies you're watching or the books you're reading the last thing you need to do is make sure that you are your own cheerleader because someone can only help you to a certain extent you got to help yourself as well as cliche as it sounds if you want more tips and tricks on how to be your own cheerleader i have made a video on that pause this video go to the link in my bio click 
on it and come back for step okay now that you have changed your perspective you are ready for step four which is basically taking a step towards achieving your goals now it is completely okay to not forget what you've been through but it is totally not okay to sit and dwell over it instead of thinking about the future because now you're fueled up and you're ready to go we have an entire life out there waiting for us i'm sure you all have certain goals that you are aiming to achieve in the near future this is the perfect time to write it down yes physically write it down and brainstorm take all that rage and all that power that you found within yourself to write down and to actually put into action even little baby steps that will help you achieve your dream now i know a lot of you may be thinking that these things are easier said than done but believe me when i tell you that any advice i give online and offline is on the basis of something that i have personally experienced if i have no experience about it i don't talk about it i am not reading things off of the internet and blindly wrotting them out to you that isn't my style just remember if somebody like me who thought that i could never get out of my dreary situation did eventually get out of it and i'm working honestly to stay in a healthy positive mindset then you can do it too and you already are if you've stay till the end of this video i want you to express a little bit of gratitude to yourself because you are taking a step forward into becoming healthier and happier i hope you enjoyed this video i hope it helped at least a few of you if it did please mention in the comments below stay fresh lovies <laughs>